Well, hello, you guys. It's Dina Case, Casey Nicole, and I'm back again with the shenanigans. And I'm not quite sure what this reading is. This is just a collective reading, okay? So remember the key points. It's a collective reading, and it is general, so it may not be for everyone out there. Be sure to go with what you know. And remember that time is fluid. It moves like water. Could be past, present, or future energy, okay? <clears throat> but I really don't know what this reading is about. I just cannot get that Trey Song song out of my head. Can't help go away. Oh, can't help go away. To you, see you for what you really are. Maybe girl, you are a star. And I can't help but wait. So, the song been in my head since last night. I feel like I was supposed to get up and do another reading last night, but I was like, no, fuck that shit. I am tired. So, let's see what this song is about. I don't understand. I feel like, okay, so let me tell y'all what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like, I feel like this is your true king or queen speaking to you or speaking to me to give you a message. I feel like they have watched you, not physically, not in the physical realm, the 3D. They've watched you in the 5D deal with the wrong motherfuckers for a long time. And I, okay, so let me be honest with you, y'all. I really feel like they're getting frustrated because they feel like a, a lot of y'all not using your intuition or you still dwelling on a motherfucker that ain't them. Waiting on them to come back, waiting on them to do right. And 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 your you know your divinity, your divine masculine or feminine, true divine masculine or feminine been waiting. And they say, I can't help but wait. And I feel like they just oh they so mad at you, but they can't help but wait. To you, see you. For what you really are, baby girl, you are a star, and I can't help but wait. Okay, okay, so and then get it together. You can do better. See you believing, and I see you what you need. So I'm gonna play not the distant. Don't you see what you've been missing? I'm calling out. I'm gonna I can't help but wait. Okay. All right, Guardian Angels, what is this about? Can you give me some Moonology cards for my collective to see what this is about? Sometimes I get possessed by the music, y'all. I'm gonna just be honest. I channel... Oh, shit. I channel messages through music. I can't help it. Oh! Okay. Wow, your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. I don't, ooh, can I get one more for my collective in regards to this song? Wow, surrender to the divine. Yeah, so your king or queen, your divine masculine or feminine is fed up with you not surrendering to the divine. Okay, I feel like, they may be feeling like their commitment is being tested because people spiritually know you, you have contracts before you come down here. God tells you what you're supposed to be doing. And if you don't follow that, it's like you're not surrendering to the divine. Okay. At the bottom, it's time to release negativity. Wow. Full moon and Scorpio. I'm really getting that y'all are needing to put an end to all of the bullshit. Okay. Y'all are really needing to put an end to, I, I really, I, I'm not going to lie. I feel like y'all need to put an end to waiting on a motherfucker to come back from the past. I, I can't put it, no, there was nothing else to come out of my mouth. So first quarter moon, I do want to read that one because I don't know what that one means. 28. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Says there could be some challenges coming your way, but there is just the unit. Oh, but they are just the universe's way of testing you. The first quarter moon calls calls for you 
to face any hurdles with confidence. What do you actually think is possible? If you believe you can do it, then you probably can. If you spend your life affirming that something is too big for you to surmount, it probably is. See how it works? Do you believe your dreams will come true or have you secretly already given up? Showing some commitment now will help you move towards your desired outcome. What you believe is true is true for you. So believe in yourself. It says, I am committed to my dreams and move towards them with confidence. Additional meanings. The answer to your question is yes, but not yet. You're halfway to your goal. You still need to put in a bit more effort. Sometimes we just need to realize how much we want something. You need to recommit to something, to someone or something. I really feel like this is saying you need to recommit to yourself. I feel like a lot of you are asking, well, if this motherfucker's waiting on me, when are they going to come? Because you still haven't done all your work. You still haven't let go of a lot of things. I'm not saying this is someone from the past. I'm saying this is the person who you're meant to be with. If you were meant to be with the past, you would be with the past. And I'm just being real. I ain't trying to burst nobody motherfucking bubble. If you're waiting on the past and that's what you want, just go on ahead and exit stage left. This is not the video for you. You ain't got to tell me. You ain't got to prove me wrong. This might not be your motherfucking video. But for those of you who are fed up with the past, who are tired of it, there's still some work you need to do. And the answer, you're like, when is this person coming in? They ain't here. Yes, they're coming, but not yet because there's still something you need to do. I feel like a lot of you guys need to believe that there is a person that fulfills all of your wishes out there. I feel like there's a lot of intuition here, purples and blues. Okay, the scorpion card is purple. This card is purple. This card has a purple and like blue tint to it. I feel like you guys are being called to listen to your intuition, surrender to the divine. I just wanted to re read your commitment as being tested because I feel like you guys are getting discouraged as to whether or not you're going to be coming in contact with this person who you're meant to be with. I feel like you are. And I actually feel like it's about to happen sooner than you think, but you guys are losing faith. Or you're, or you're feeling like, no, nah, I'm just, I, I'm gonna just do me. You, it's like you're being negative. See, it says time to release negativity. Where is my motherfucking? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, cause I just, you know, when I buy things, I want to take advantage. So hold on. And y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe, my loves. I just got done eating a sandwich. Ooh, it was so good. Okay, you know I got my wand. I really like my wand. <laughs> That's my wand. I'm the knight of wands. Okay, I'm just playing. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna try to figure out what, what this person wants to tell you, okay? So, guardian angels, what does my collective's true divine masculine or feminine want them to know in regards to this song can't help but wait and i feel like also that your commitment is being tested card it said yes but not now i feel like spirit is telling you like stop being impatient with this process because you ain't got no choice but to wait you can't help but to wait because they have to get this together for you. People just can't just appear on your doorstep. That would be creepy. That would be like some fucking Jeffrey Dahmer shit. Okay. So what does my collective's divine masculine or feminine want them to know? What additional information, guardian angels, can you provide? What do they want my collective to know in regards to this wait, this waiting game? Wow, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. So they're basically telling you when they come along, don't reject them because they've waited for you for a long time and you have really been waiting on them for a long time and they're not going to be what you expect. They're letting you know now they're not going to be what you expect. They may not be the height you expect. They may not be the color or complexion you expect. But they're going to show you love because they feel like you deserve love. You are lovable. 
And I feel like it's about negativity here. I feel like it's about you either thinking negatively about whether or not this is going to happen or just thinking negatively about another person when you just need to let that person go. You know, there's so many times, you know, this is not going to be a rushed video. Mm. Jesus, name. There are so many times where I could, I want to be mad. I do be mad. I'm just going to be real with y'all. Like, I literally said, I could show y'all the text message I sent to my baby daddy earlier today. The the baby's daddy, the little one. My older two's daddy, I got, I chewed him out on Monday or Tuesday, whatever. But the little one, you know, the little one's dad, you know, he, he just, I, I don't know if some of y'all need to hear this because maybe this the negativity within your heart. Maybe God has guided me to share my business because, you know, it's meant to help somebody. I just feel like y'all are tired. Oh, God. I feel like y'all are really tired and beat down. Tired of being beat down by people who don't appreciate you. You know, and I did send that motherfucker a text message today, and I did kind of cuss his ass out. You know. And that's what I'm working on. I, I used to be real bad. I used to I used to call the motherfucker back to back to back to back to back to back to back, cussing him out, leaving voicemails, cussing him out, calling his mama, you know, cussing that, you know, let me stop, cussing that woman out. You know, but I've gotten a lot better. And what triggered me today was that, you know, I called him earlier this week and I asked him, you know, do you want to see your son? First of all, that's the first thing that's wrong. I should never have to call him and ask him, do he want to see his son? He should be calling me, jumping for joy or, or, or keeping in contact with me on a regular basis because he wants to see his son. I shouldn't have to call after three to six months of inactivity. Last time he was here was on Christmas. Yeah, I remember when I did that video. I can't remember if it was Scorpio's video or Gemini. I don't know whose video it was, but the doorbell rang and I told him it's not a good time. And then I got on there telling y'all about, you know, how I was feeling in the whole situation. That's the last, and then he was supposed to come in, he was supposed to come at like three. You know what I'm saying? But then didn't show up till like eight, nine o'clock at motherfucking night. Then didn't even have the decency to wait for me to get done with what I was doing. Didn't call me. Didn't let me know he was on the way. Just showed the fuck up. Rude, inconsiderate as fuck. Childish as fuck. And expect me to drop everything I'm goddamn doing to, to appease that nigga. You get what I'm saying? I, I, I don't have no filter. And I don't really care to have no motherfucking filter because I'd rather be a real ass bitch than a fake ass bitch. I don't understand how somebody don't care about their kid. That's what hurt me. Because he's so good. He's so beautiful. He's so beautiful. And... I don't know if y'all going through this because I don't know why it's coming out right now, bro. But I know that I'm a psychic and I know that I channel y'all's energy. And I feel like y'all are still holding resentment. Because really, my YouTube channel was about my journey. If, if you go back to my old videos, it's a documentation of my journey. From the start of it, in 2020 or 2019, I don't even get remember when the first video came out to now. And I know I've grown so much and I feel like as a collective, y'all are very passionate because I'm not, I'm not, listen, when I cry, I don't cry because I'm sad. I cry because I'm angry and I'm crying right now. And I feel like y'all been shedding a lot of tears, you know? Just because life been beating y'all down and you angry about it. And I feel like that's the negativity that you need to release. 
because, who Jesus, I didn't know it was going to be like this, y'all. Because I feel like your angels, I feel like God is telling you right now to release this pain because you did your best. If you fucked with somebody who abused you, you fucked with somebody who's a deadbeat dad or mom, you fucked with somebody who's a cheater or a liar, you fucked with somebody who, you know, was nasty and dirty. I feel like y'all are beating yourself up. And I'm feeling like your king or your queen is sad because they see you dwelling on that shit and you're not able to release the negativity. And I feel like once y'all finally decide and make the decision that you're just going to follow your intuition and let life just happen to you, surrender, then things are going to start to come together, okay? Okay? Because you are being tested right now. Your commitment to loving yourself is being tested right now because this is what you said you was going to do. Your commitment to being more spiritual, more connected to the divine, more connected to your intuition. That's being tested right now because I feel like this retrograde that fucked a lot of y'all up mentally and took y'all back to some of them old feelings. And I really feel like, you know, just in general, the way life has been going you know, it's like you feel like it's a protection mechanism, but you have to let go of that protection mechanism because your commitment to what you promised to your ancestors, whatever that may be, because I don't know what that is. That's a personal promise between you and your ancestors, but that is being tested and you're being told that you need to surrender and release this negativity because you really do deserve love. And I feel like you need to keep an open mind. I feel like a lot of y'all are in this mental state where you just feel like it's not going to happen to you. Oh, thank you, God. You need to release. I feel like y'all need to shed a tear. You need to let it out. You need to scream it out. You need to punch it out. I'm not saying punch nobody or hurt yourself. I'm saying like, you know, hit a pillow, God dang. Put the pillows on the floor and just, you know what I'm saying? Like, go at them bitches till you let it out. Okay, but I feel like the person who is waiting on you to complete this cycle is you're going to have a lot of chemistry with them, but they're not going to be your usual type. Yeah, it's the codependency in the back of your mind. It, it, I feel like it's a codependency to knowing what's going to happen. It's a codependency to to uh, um, to needing to be with someone. Even if you guys don't feel like I don't need to be. No, 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 no. You can't watch my channel and not be real with yourself. At some point in your life, you really wanted to be with someone. And that could be behind you right now. But I feel like. I feel like collective y'all are going from one extreme to the other. Because. I feel like this is crooked. Because it's like you want to say. You know, I don't need nobody. I don't want nobody. I ain't codependent on nobody. But then it's closing you off to being able to open up to any type of relationship or communication. So let me see, because I've been talking for a long time. What sign could this person possibly be? Now, if a sign comes up from somebody who you've already dealt with in the past, that don't mean it's your past person. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. What possible sign is the um, divine masculine or feminine that's meant to be with my collective? What's their possible sign, guardian angels? What can they anticipate? An earth sign? Okay, so they could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Can I get one more for the possible sign? I feel stiff. Like, I feel like tense energy. I feel like y'all are very tense. Saturn. So Saturn is Capricorn or Aquarius possibly, but I really, I don't feel like it's an Aquarius. I feel like it's a Capricorn, an earth sign that's a Capricorn. Could be a Taurus or a Virgo. They could have Cancer somewhere in their chart. They could have Aries somewhere in their chart. Okay. So... 
I really, I just got on here and I really don't know what closet I'm gonna pull. So, just because these are already out. Ooh, y'all, I hate getting emotional. Ain't that crazy though? Cause I'm a Pisces. People think I'm so emotional. But really, if they really knew. I'm an Aquarius moon and an Aquarius Venus. I ain't got no, I, I, I don't got no love. I'm cold as ice, bitch. I think I'm a Pisces. You gonna you gonna treat me like I'm a Pisces and you gonna you gonna fuck your own self up. <laughs> Go back to that DNA Aquarius reading. That's you you know who the fuck I am. Man, I feel like that's what y'all feel. Oh my god. I feel like y'all feel like people just been testing you lately and you just tired. Y'all, I feel like y'all just are exhausted, like. But I feel like because of the fact that you don't want to be codependent to anyone, I feel like you don't open yourself up to anyone. Whoa. Whoa. Y'all mad at me? What the hell? I feel like you don't open yourself up to anyone either. Yeah, the sun, nine of wands, nine of swords, six of swords, six of cups, five of wands, ace of swords, you're upside down. Everything is upside down. I don't even care what it what it says. Everything is... <sighs> wow. I don't even know how the fuck that happened. Then the Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the Five of Swords. Was upright out of all of those. I just feel like you're, I feel like your stability is very important to you. I feel like you're standing in front of, I feel like you're standing in front of your family. Like you're, you're dodging a bullet for them. Like with this five of swords, you're putting all of the mental weight on yourself. I feel like y'all definitely need to speak to a therapist get back into your therapist's office because I feel like you're the one who's the sole provider for your family, right? The Queen of Swords was in front of the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like you guys are really like the sole providers. You guys are the ones who defend the family, protect your children, protect your parents. You know, you may be the oldest sibling, but I, I just feel like you guys have so much stress on you. And I feel like I feel like with that five of swords, I feel like you're very combative. Anything that comes in contact or comes towards you, it's like you're facing it in the five of swords energy. You're facing it as if it's already going to be negative or if you are like, like as if you are on the defensive. And I feel like that's also because, you know, People have put a lot of negativity in your life and you need to release that so that when you approach situations, you can have faith, you can surrender to the divine and you can come into it with a positive attitude, not just assuming things are going to go wrong. Okay. So what do my collective divine masculine or feminine want to tell them? The person who they're meant to be with. The person who they're doing the work to get to. King of Cups. I feel like this person wants you to remember the love within your heart. I feel like they want you to know that they, they have so much love for you already and they don't even know you yet. I feel like they are telling you that you need to meditate more as well with this King of Cups. You may need to get a sounding bowl of your own. Don't it look, don't that look like my bowl? Okay. Hey. You may need to get your sounding bowl of your own, I feel like, or you may need to put your feet in the water, go to the beach, get on a boat. Y'all could, I, I feel like y'all could be water signs, maybe Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. But I feel like your your divine masculine or your divine partner, masculine, feminine partner. I'm just going to say divine partner because y'all know who you are and what you want. Um, I feel like they are 
wanting you to express more. They want you to express your emotions more. I feel like they want you to be more open. Okay, so the chariot and the ten of wands. Cancer energy. You could be a cancer. You could be a Sagittarius. I feel like So I feel like, yeah, I feel like your divine partner wants you to move on from being so cold and closed hearted, like cold hearted and closed off. I feel like they want you to move forward from that. Like it's time for you to open your heart back up. I feel like there's an issue with your heart chakra here. I feel like you're needing to release the burdens and fear of moving on. I feel like you're moving forward, but you're taking too much stuff with you. I feel like they're saying that you're taking way too much with you. Like you're moving on, but you're not fully releasing the negativity that has plagued you for a long period of time. They want you to, yeah, and be more confident. I feel like yeah, I feel like they, they want you to confidently walk away. I feel like you guys are walking towards your salvation, but you're bringing a lot of unnecessary shit with you. And you could definitely be trying to bring people with you that's unnecessary. She got one wand in her hand. One, two, three, four, five, six in the suitcase. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten. Three are on the hill. So it's like you've let go of a little bit, but there's still things. You only need one wand in your hand to, to, to carry out the duties that you're meant to carry out in this lifetime with this queen of wands. I feel like this is, I feel like this is the divine. Okay. When I say surrender to the divine, this is the divine in your hand. This is your divinity. This is your intuition. This is your power. By being connected to that. And you only need one wine, my G. But you over here carrying seven of them bitches. Man. You over there taking seven burdens with you. You need Everybody needs to look at they, what, what are their seven burdens. That they're taking with them. And the nine of swords at the bottom. So overall... Whatever you're not releasing collective is still keeping you up at night. You're still not sleeping. See, because you really do. You really do want this commitment. I feel like that's where the codependency card comes in because you're stressed about it. And I feel like you need to surrender to divine timing, surrender to allowing the chips to fall where they may, allowing time and space to play out in your favor. And I feel like you, you're you're stressed about it. It's like you're stressed about when this is going to happen. You're stressed about if it's going to actually happen, when it's going to happen, who it's going to be with, who's this person. No. No. I feel like you got to let that go. You definitely got to let that go. I, I put all my... Hold on, y'all. Let me... Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Let me get this deck out. Because I put a majority of my decks away. Because I was actually... I'm, I'm actually going to be having some, some more sign videos coming out next week. Monday. Everything's going to start coming out. It's actually going to be you versus them. Because I'm kind of sick of y'all. <laughs> nah, I ain't sick of y'all. I'm just sick of people coming on here, you know, playing the blame game, acting like, you know, they're always the one who's in the right and they're always the one who's getting hurt and they're never the one who did anything. And, you know, I just had to do a you versus them because a bitch was exhausted, you know, and I'm reading your comments. I haven't forgot about you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for your love and support. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. So let's see why your divine partner is telling you these things. I feel like they want you to find your confidence and release your burdens and move forward so they can commit to you. 
But I feel like you're so worried about the commitment that you're not allowing things to fall by the wayside. I feel like I want to shuffle one more time. Hold on. Yeah, that's much better. Oh my God, look. Again. Oh my God. So why does my collective's divine partner say the king of cups? Tell them the king of cups. Seven of swords. What's the seven of swords? What's the seven of swords? Six of swords. Three of cups. So I feel like they are... I feel like they know that you are feeling very emotional about moving forward, about dating. I feel like you have a lot of feelings about moving on in your life, expressing. I feel like you have a lot of feelings and fears. I feel like that's what you're thinking about. I feel like that's what's on your subconscious is the fear that someone's going to lie to you or cheat on you or treat you the way that people have treated you in the past. So I feel like you're very much so... Because these two came out together, the Six of Swords and the Three of Cups. Your divine partner wants you to move forward. Oh, shit, excuse me. That's that roast beef. Uh -huh. Your divine partner wants you to open up, be more emotional, okay? Let your feelings out. Move on to a more calm place where you celebrate your life and you're happy I feel like they also want you to celebrate your emotions because cups are emotions. So I feel like they are wanting you to not be so closed off, to move on from being sneaky. I'm just going to be honest, collective. I feel like, you know, hiding, you know, what you truly feel. Okay. I, I feel like it's a protection mechanism with this King of Cups, but your divine partner is saying that you're just doing the same thing that other people have done to you. I feel like you're you're in the seven of swords. I feel like they don't want you to be in the seven of swords energy because they feel like it's going to cause them to. I, I really this is what I hear in my head. I feel like they feel that this is it's going to cause them to take longer to be able to find you, take longer to see you. They're going to have to wait even longer. They're tired of waiting. And I feel like you're trying to, I do feel like you're trying to escape, but you're going the wrong way. I feel like you're, you're trying to ignore your emotions or act as if they're not there. And I feel like you're needing to move forward with that. I feel like you're needing to date. I feel like you, you're, you're in this energy, whoever I'm talking to. Whoever resonates with this is in this energy of trying to get on with their life, trying to move forward, trying to get out there, but still withholding information. And it puts you in that seven of swords energy to where they're not going to be able to recognize you. Now you got a seven of cups, queen of swords. Yeah. So I really feel like, yeah, I feel like in your mind, Behind you is this confusion, this uncertainty. I feel like meeting somebody new, talking to new people is very uncertain for you. It's very, it, it, it's, it's just, I feel like you feel that everybody is showing illusion. So you're being very cutthroat here. Queen of Swords. Ooh, the moon card. Yeah, you guys are being very elusive and secretive. And I feel like that needs to end with the world card. I feel like you need to put an end to the anger and you need to put an end to the confusion. Not saying that you don't need to protect yourself. You always need to watch your back. But I feel like you need to put an end to the games, put an end to the confusion. 77 is here. I feel like you need to put an end to your fear of dating. Try to get over that. Try to work through it because 
I feel like when you do, you'll be able to see this true love. I feel like you'll be shown this blessing. You, This person will be given to you. What's the chariot? And they know that, okay? So the chariot, the two of cups and the seven of pentacles. Yeah, I'm really feeling like with this two of cups and seven of pentacles with the chariot. I'm feeling like you're needing to move forward with your life. I feel like you're needing to make drastic, speedy changes. Not outside of your comfort zone fast, but just change. Yeah, oh my God, the Ace of Cups at the bottom. I really just feel like you guys are needing to be more patient for this connection. I feel like, but I feel like there's an energy here where I feel like you guys are being stagnant though. I feel like you're feeling as if you have, I feel like you guys are feeling as if you have done the work, you've made progress, but what I'm hearing is it's not enough progress, okay? You're pa something about your patience. Now you got three sevens out here and the chariot is a seven. So that's four sevens. I also feel like you need to talk to people. I feel like you need to get out there. Wow, the chariot is at the back. So I just feel like your divine partner is wanting you to come on. Like they're, they're impatient with you. They're waiting on you, but they're tired of watching you deal with the wrong motherfuckers because you're not listening to your intuition or you're trying to rush it and put somebody in their place when it's their place. You're trying to put somebody in their place, in their spot, because you're impatient about waiting for them. And I feel like you need to, I feel like you need to, I feel like they're telling you to also watch what you invest on connections or people that you're talking to. What's the two of cups and the seven of pentacles with this chariot? Yeah. Three of pentacles. That's crazy because in the same spot is the three of cups. So I really feel like you're needing to celebrate yourself. I feel like you're needing to put an end to, you know, thinking about the decision with the seven of cups, like, but which one do I pick or who do I go for? Or is it this person or is it that person? No, you're going to know, you're going to know, you're going to know. That's what I feel like is going to, is happening here. You're trying to fit other people into, you're trying to fit a square peg into a round hole because you're impatient. I feel like you need to be more patient because when you do that, I feel like that is when the person that you're meant to be with is going to recognize you. When you let go, when you release, when you allow shit to fall where it may, I feel like that's when they're going to see you. When you take the stress out of this. Wow, the page of cups reversed. Yeah, I feel like you, I feel like you guys are, I, I really feel like this is for somebody who's trying to move on. But they're thinking the wrong person is their divine partner. They're thinking a page in reverse. Someone who's not even really being a true friend to you. Not even caring for you enough to be a true friend. I feel like you're trying to work on it with this person and it's the wrong person. The four of cups. Yeah, somebody who don't even want you, who don't even value you. And you know it. You know who I'm talking about. Someone who doesn't even, who never expresses how they feel, who never says anything or even reacts when you express how you feel. I feel like y'all are trying to work on it with a person like this. Or you're, or you're patiently waiting on a person like this to work on things with you. And I feel like you already, you, I feel like the time has come for you to pass judgment on this person. It could be a Scorpio, it could be a Leo. But I feel like, I feel like you already know with this judgment card that your happiness is not with this person. 
that there's someone more divinely connected to you and that this person has caused you to heal so many times. Like, is that really happiness? This person has caused you to go through these motions. And I just feel like your divine partner is getting fed up with you. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. I feel like they they are upset with you for dealing with people who are below your standards or people who don't show you any consistency because... I feel like if you let go of that type of energy, that codependent energy that you feel when you feel like you need to wait on this person or work it out with this person, I feel like that's when, when you let that go, that's going to open up the door for the real person to come in for your happiness. And I feel like this person is going to really hold you tight with this four of pentacles and the sun card. I also feel like you're holding back your own happiness here by trying to work things out with a bald head hoe on some bald head hoe shit. You're doing yourself a disservice. What's the Ten of Wands? And, and they just want you to release this burden. Yeah. They want you to fight for yourself. Five of Swords. They want you to fight for... Oh my God. Five of Cups. They want you to fight to move on. I feel like with the Ten of Wands, they want you to release this anger and sadness. I feel like they want you to fight for your salvation. They want you to fight for your peace. They want you to fight for them. The Six of Cups is right after the Five of Cups. That's a soulmate, right? So I feel like they want you to fight to overcome this pain, this depression, this feeling of lack. Because you don't even see them back here. You don't even see them and the two of cups is here. You can't even see them because it's too hard for you to move forward. And I feel like you're angry and you're stuck in that angry place. You're stuck in that vindictive place because you're trying to move on without releasing these additional burdens. And your divine partner wants you to fight for yourself. They want you to fight harder. Yes, with the temperance at the back, they, they want you to be more patient. I definitely feel like they want you to really hold back from, you know, the temptations of life and be more patient. See, your commitment is being tested. They want you to be strong in this commitment. They want you to defend yourself here, protect yourself so that you can have this happiness. What's the five of swords and the five of cups and the ten of wands? Yeah, I just saw the Empress and the Magician. Because they, cause, cause you're powerful. And I feel like your divine partner spiritually. This is why y'all are meant to be together. Because y'all are powerful together. And they know how powerful you truly are in the spirit realm. They can see you. See, just like Trey Songz said. Till you see you for what you really are. Because they can see you for what you really are. But you just can't see it. Because you're caught up in this nine of swords energy. You're caught up in this doubt. This feeling of lack. All of these thoughts and emotions. That have kept you drained and, and, and fed up for so long. It, it's blinding you. They know it's blinding you. And they want you, to, they want you to manifest your way out of that. They want you to be strong and understand that you have every possible tool at your disposal. You're not weak. You're not resourceless. You have resources. The four of swords. They're, they're saddened because you're not getting enough sleep, you guys. I really feel like this person can sense that you're not getting rest. They want you to rest. I, I heard they want you to like take a spa day for yourself because they want you. Okay, this, this is so emotional, y'all. I feel like they're sad for you. Oh, my God. I just really feel like this person can feel your pain. And mm, two fours next to each other, they're crying for you. They want you to spoil yourself. Um... They want you to spoil yourself the way that they're going to spoil you. 
They want you to start doing it now. They want you to, I feel like they also want you to get a new mattress. Oh my God, who the fuck is this person? Because <laughs> they knew I was crying and I was getting upset because they're upset. Like, I really feel this, y'all. Like, oh. whoever your divine partner is, when you meet them, you need to tell them that they owe me for putting, getting me all fucking emotional and shit. Yeah, it's like they know you're not sleeping. They know you're not resting. It's like they want you to invest in yourself right now the way that they are planning on investing in you when when the doors open up. Yeah, because you've been working a lot. I feel like they are... They're, I feel like... Mm, I feel like this person sees you trying your best they know that you're intuitive. They know that you guys know you need to do this. I'm not telling y'all anything you don't know. I'm just reinforcing it. And I'm just helping you with the inspiration and letting you know that your divine partner sees you, hears you, and is rooting for you. And it's like, you know that it's not the person who you've been dealing with. You know it's not. But you keep trying to decide. You keep going back and forth and they're mad at you for that because you don't. it's like you don't believe in them. So it's like you still stay up worrying about it and you need to get more sleep. Wow. I feel like when you get more sleep, you're going to have more dreams. Yeah, it's going to help you to... I feel like it's also going to bring you... Some type of information. I feel like your divine partner is also trying to push you towards your proper career path as well. Because that's what divine partnerships do. Progress us. Build us up. I feel like they are going to help you see where you need to be. They're going to help guide you to them. It could be somebody you meet through work. But look, at the back is the king of pentacles. And look, there goes the queen. So it's like y'all are stuck between all of these situations right now. And I feel like they're wanting you to sleep more. They're wanting you to get more rest. I feel like they're waiting on the time when they can get up and start this with you. But they can't do that until you stop worrying, until you stop crying over spilled milk, being so angry and defensive, being tired and exhausted. And I really feel like you're going to be guided towards them. They're going to be, maybe they play music in your dream. I feel like it's going to be somebody who maybe plays music in your dream. Like they're blowing a horn at you or you hear a horn beeping. Like there's, I feel like they're the person beeping at you in your dream, like in a car, truck, or, or like blowing a bike horn at you or actually literally blowing like a trumpet or something. Or they could have like that medical stripe on their arm. That's what I feel like as well, like an ambulance. I feel like this person is going to be in a dream that you have. Once you finally get some real rest, they're going to be in a dream that you have. And I feel like they may be a medical professional, like an ambulance driver, a doctor, um, someone who plays an instrument, blows a horn, blows a horn in a car, actually sirens on the ambulance. I, that, I feel like it's something like that. But they want you to get more rest so that you can see them. So you can see how to get to them. So they can help you. Yeah. So, yes. Not a pinnacle. So that you, so that they can help you to be confident enough to move towards something new. King of Pentacles, yeah. I feel, oh my God. And I feel like this person, oh my God. I feel like either they got buku money or they very well off. They're very work driven or I feel like meeting this person is going to progress both of you guys' careers. Wow. What's the Queen of Wands? I know that ain't the sun. What? Ah! So I feel like once you fully get your confidence back, 
Like, there are going to be days where you have good days and bad days. They told me this to you. Like, they want you to know you're going to have good days and bad days. But as long as you continue working on your happiness, okay, working with your children, being patient, working on yourself, you're going to continue to, to perpetuate that happiness. And they're going to be able to see you. I feel like you're going to be illuminated with this sun card. And all the hard work that you've been putting in, they're going to see it. Wow, another eight. Eight of swords. Yeah, I feel like they're not going to have any choice but to be stuck to you, attracted to you. Six of pentacles. Oh my God, another eight. The eight of wands. Stop it. What's the last one? Oh my God, the Queen of Wands again. Get the fuck out of here. So I feel like what they're saying is that they see how confident you've become. They're very happy about it. They see how much hard work you've been putting in. They see that you're tired though too. They see that you still feel trapped. Like you still feel like you can't get out of something here. You got the Eight of Pentacles. Oh my God. It don't never fail when I try to pick up a card. But you got that. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe because this is some spiritual shit. And if you just want to hear about what a motherfucker in your past is doing, you ain't ready for my readings. Okay? So at the end of the day, I just feel like you got all these eights. 888. Eight, eight. Go look it up. Somebody put it in the comments. I feel like you have been doing a lot of work, but there's still something keeping you from being able to move forward. And I feel like... Either that could be you um, accepting the fact that sometimes you need more help from others. Um, that could be you um, needing to accept the fact that you need to give back to the community in order to move forward, not be so selfish. Okay. I feel like this is actually also you needing to, like I said earlier with that King of Cups, Get out of that energy where you don't say anything or you hold everything in or you don't express your emotions. I feel like you really are needing to express your emotions to let people know what you're passionate about. This person could be far away from you right now, but I hear that they are going to be relocating like somewhere close to you in your area. And I feel like they're very happy about all the work that you've been putting in thus far. I feel like they see how confident you become how happy you've become, how hard you've been working on your goals, but they know that you still feel a bit anxious about where you're going. I feel like they want you to know that that's normal, that everyone needs help sometimes. Everyone feels anxious about their forward movement and progression. But I feel like you giving back, you speaking your truth, you opening up your mind, you discussing the different obstacles about confidence is going to like or 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 telling a friend or telling a family member or or being an inspirational speaker somewhere speaking up about what you've been through i feel like that's going to bring this person towards you they're going to see i feel like you're going to glow i feel like you're going to glow like the sun oh my god and the four of wands Oh my God, I feel like, yes, that is then going to make them see you for what you really are. Because baby girl, you are a star. Baby boy, you are a star. And they're not, and, and they're not going to be able to help, but they, they're not going to be able to, they can't, they're not going to be able to help it anymore. They, they're not going to be able to wait anymore. Wow. And the Ace of Pentacles right under that. Stop it. Stop it. I cannot. I can't make it up. Like, what else can I say? So, before we go, because this was long, what else does my collective need to do to work on this? What are some of the obstacles here that is stopping them for meeting this divine partner. Because I want us all, bitch. Okay? 
motherfucker. I want us all to be with the motherfucker we want to be with. Because I'm tired of the J's. Okay. We're using the motives and intentions oracle deck. Okay, what else do my collective need to do? What's holding them back from being able to meet this person? Meet the person who they're meant to be with, their divine partner. Ulterior motives. That's that seven of swords. Hidden agenda, cunning, sly, devious, trickery, scheming, sneaky, crafty. Feel like you're allowing the energy of other people who have hurt you to perpetuate onto your own spirit. Your divine partner sees that and they want you to change. Quality time, attentive, chivalrous, getting to know you, putting in effort, deep connection. And they're feathers on both of these cards. They're not feathers on all the cards, but they're feathers on both of these cards. I feel like that's significant to either someone or something that you've dealt with or are dealing with. So I feel like you need to, I feel like collective, y'all are having an issue here with ulterior motives. You're not spending true quality time to get to know people. I feel like you're judging a book before, you're judging a book by its cover before you actually get to know people. I'm not saying you divulge all your information and just be stupid, but I'm saying don't judge people. I feel like an energy of judgment. See, unclean hands, guilty conscience, afraid of karma, paranoid due to unethical behavior. So there have been some things that you guys have done. I feel like if you have stopped that or you've realized that, then I feel like you're on the right track. But if you're still acting in this five of swords energy, like in a vindictive, like I'm going to get back type of nature, this person is going to be blinded to you. They're not going to be able to see you and you're not going to be able to see them. At the bottom, within reason on the on their end, reasonable requests, concerns, expectations, reactions. So their requests of you in this video are very reasonable. Ooh, mirroring at the back. Reflection of you. Look inside yourself. Like attracts like. Getting what you give. And that's what I'm saying. They're not able to see you and you're not able to see them until you're giving the same thing that they're giving. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So let's see the final card I'm going to pull. What spell do you guys need to put yourself under in order to help bring you Closer to this end result. Closer to what you desire. What spell do you need to put yourself under? Collective. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. These cards are so big. Usually they're not that hard for me to shuffle. But maybe. I don't know. Okay. Guardian Angels. What spell does my collective need to put themselves under to progress this process forward? And... Oh, surrender to the divine is what I was going to say. Victory, number 35. I shall celebrate and I shall rise. I will let victory make me wise. So I feel like celebrate the little victories here. I feel like that's what that's saying. Um, I feel like you also need to celebrate yourself. Be patient with yourself, but also do the motherfucking work, okay? Psychic protection is at the bottom, number 40. Around me now, a shield of gold, protecting me strong and bold. And at the back. Okay, maybe they don't want me to see. Oh, trust. Number 31. I am safe. I am secure in love. I trust my faith endures. Yeah, I feel like you have to. I feel like you guys are needing to like psychically or intuitively believe that you can have victory and love and trust that because I feel like y'all are jaded. A little bit and you don't believe it's gonna happen so i hope this reading has helped you guys i love y'all so very much be sure to like share and subscribe stick to the positivity today and every day be blessed don't let none of these motherfuckers out here steal your joy Mwah. i love you guys bye